Hello there. Today's book is, Who Eats Who? by Teresa Heapy. Let's get started. Food Chains All living things are part of food chains. Yes, all living things, big and small, plants and animals. A food chain is made when one living thing eats another living thing, and that living thing eats another, and that living thing eats another. Grass is eaten by snail, is eaten by frog, is eaten by fox. Why do living things eat each other? All living things need food. It helps them grow and gives them energy. Don't break the chain. Every link in a food chain is important. Grass is important to lions, even though they don't eat it. Grass. Food chain starts with grass is eaten by zebra. Zebras are herbivores. They eat grass. Without grass zebras wouldn't have anything to eat, and they would die. Zebra is eaten by a lion. Lions are carnivores. They eat zebras. Without zebras and other herbivores, the lions wouldn't have anything to eat either. Yuck! I don't eat grass. But without grass there would be no zebras for me to eat. All chained together. Food chains happen everywhere. You'll find them in hot places and in cold places. Hot places. Plant is eaten by insect, is eaten by lizard, is eaten by snake. Snakes are camouflaged. Their skin matches their environment, so lizards can't see them coming. Cold places. A shrimp is eaten by an arctic cod, is eaten by a seal, is eaten by a polar bear. Polar bears wait for seals near holes in the ice. You're in the chain too. Humans are in food chains too. Yes, that means you. Humans are omnivores. They can eat plants, fish and meat. Corn is eaten by the chicken, is eaten by the human. Humans usually buy meat instead of hunting it. Humans usually cook meat before eating it. Some humans choose not to eat meat. They are called vegetarians. Does the chain end? There is a pattern in food chains. A carnivore, such as a lion or a fox, is usually at the top of a food chain. This is because these animals are excellent hunters or predators. The grizzly bear is a predator. But this food chain does not end with the grizzly bear. No, a food chain never ends. When a grizzly bear dies, it is eaten by bugs in the ground. They break it down in the soil and make it into food for the plants. Then the chain starts again. Plants get eaten by the deer, gets eaten by the grizzly bear, gets eaten by the bugs, which make food for the plants. Who eats who? Yes, all living things are in food chains, from lions to insects to you. So we have group 1 is eaten by group 2. Group 2 is eaten by group 3. And group 3 is eaten by group 4. Now, take a look back through this video and remember, who eats who. The end. If you haven't done already, please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.